Hey guys, so I basically come to um, collect my new car. Um, I was in two minds about vlogging because the reason why I was changing my car was actually so that people didn't know what car I was in because it's just a bit ridiculous. Like sometimes my car's parked somewhere and someone will call me like, oh my God, are you here? I saw your car. Or people will be like, I saw you the other day. You were here. And I'm like, yeah, it's long. So um, I was trying to actually get it changed ASAP. All right, so basically um, I've just finished signing all the papers. There was like 20 sheets of paper. Obviously, I'm selling my car to the dealership, so I had to go through all of that stuff as well. Got it ordered, it was on the ferry coming back to this, I mean, coming to this country. And I'm gonna go upstairs and unveil the car. But yeah, like, I've had to go through so much stuff. I've had to move to the, um, to the salesman's side of the desk because my battery died. <laughs> I'm just about to go up to see the car, guys. Oh, yeah, got the camera ready. <laughs> I'm ready to go home. Oh, I'm so excited. Guys, I'm inside of the new car. Like, it's so cute. Guys, we made it. Mama, I made it. The last time I bought a car, it was actually for my mum. Actually, no, that's a lie. I bought my last car first, but before that, I bought a car for my mum. And they done the whole unveiling and everything. And my mum screamed and ran around the dealership like a mad woman because it was a surprise. But yeah, I was so excited, guys. I've just like been waiting to get out of this car for the longest time but because of the fact that microchips for the new cars are made in ukraine there was a problem so i've literally been searching for a car for like over a year when i called the dealer the other day they were like oh we've got some on the ferry coming you can buy one if you want i was like give me the car so yeah i'm really happy i'm just so happy guys like i'm over the moon i can't wait to drive off i didn't tell my kids that i'm picking it up today so when i go and collect them from school they're gonna be hella gassed but yeah we move <laughs> need you lot to understand that i came to this place like a tramp please look at my socks please look at my socks and my trainers and my trousers please and just look at me like my teacher's e my t-shirt has even got bleach on it i was there scrubbing out the car like a mad woman because it was embarrassing i said i can't take the people to the car and the car looks like this especially in the inside so i was there sweeping out the car wiping it down everything so i was literally doing up housework before I came here, the people there must think I'm crazy because I literally look like a tramp. But we moved because I'm buying a new car, so I'm clearly not a tramp. Do you get it? <laughs> literally, I've got bare football chairs. I've got I've got football chairs, I've got umbrellas, I've got footballs. <laughs> like, literally, look at this. All these cone things and all of that for football. You'd think that I'm the one who plays football. Guys, I'm a proud new owner of a new vehicle. I've just come back inside of the dealership and I'm literally just waiting for them to um, do my tax. So they've got to basically cancel the tax that I have on the vehicle at the moment. And then um, they put a new tax on for a year. And then also they're doing the V5 documents when they like change the ownership over. So um, yeah, guys, like I'm over excited. I've transferred all the junk <laughs> from my current car over to the new one. My kids are gonna have some strict rules with this car, man, because I swear to you, you could tell I'm a football mum, like 100%, but yeah. So guys, I am in my new car. They've got this new thing, yeah, like that connects the phone to the car. You can lock the car from the phone. You can check the windows. It tells you where the car is. Like if you lose it, where you park it. Do you know how like valuable that feature is to me? Do you know how many times I come out of places and I'm like, no, where did I park the car? Like, where's the car? So I'm actually really happy that they've got that feature. Um... But yeah, guys, the guy just handed me my two keys. He was like, thank you, shook my hand, happy doing business with you and all of the rest of it. And I'm going. Like, I can't believe that I'm leaving this car. One thing I had to do, though, I had to take all my mats out of the car because I'm not being funny, but they put me in a new car that don't have no mats. Like, are you joking? Are you actually joking? So I've actually got my mats from the old car so that I can put them in. Um, and also I've noticed that my boot space is not as big because I literally transferred all the stuff from my boot to this car and yeah, it didn't Guys, I'm literally driving my first mile in this car and as soon as this thing goes to one mile, I've lost thousands of pounds. <laughs> like that's the problem with driving a new car off of the flipping forecourt, mate. Guys, I just need to tell you that the car smells like a new car. You know when you've got that new car smell? Ah! guys i can't i can't i can't get over the excitement of today because you lot don't understand how long i've been trying to get out of that car i palmed it off on them i can't even lie 
So guys, hey, my day has not stopped. I've literally come to pick up my son from football. Um, I was driving here with my daughter and I said, hold on a minute. I actually haven't played no music in the car. My way back, I was on the phone and I was talking. So I thought it's best that I put Allah first as always. And I tried to basically um, bless the car in other words. So I played Ad Fatiha and basically me and my daughter was just reciting it on the way down to come and get my son. But it sounds so lovely. And I just found a sick recitation. Like he sounds like he should be singing, not should be singing stuff for Allah, but he sounds like it's like R&B vibe. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe he used to sing R&B before in his past. Who knows? But um, yeah, guys, so we just blessed the car, played some Quran, and hopefully Allah will bless us and will keep us safe at all times inside of this car. I mean, like you say, I mean, I mean, I mean, do you want to recite for us? Mm -hmm. Go on then, baby. You have to do it loudly so the camera can hear you. Okay. Bismillah, Kamal Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, Akamal Rahim, Malaki Amadeen, Ya Kanapodi, Ya Kanasti, Ya Tanasawa Tumus, Taki, Salatuladin, Alhamdulillahim, Naktopi Amin. Amin. MashaAllah, baby girl. We have to put um Allah in everything. Do you get it? So, yeah. Blessings! Guys, I'm knackered. I am actually knackered. Look at my eyes. Look at my face. Look at everything. Oh my god. Good morning guys welcome to my channel is la cartier and yeah i'm back at it again with another video guys i mash up guys i mash up even the state of my hair guys look at the state of me i'm finished all right so quick backstory yesterday was my birthday guys yesterday was my birthday and yeah it's now 10, 10, 18, 10, 18 in the morning. Like, I stayed in a hotel by myself. Um, I'm up near Birmingham. Um, I mash up, you know. I think I need to start, I think I need to, oh my God. I think I need to wake up properly and then start this vlog because right now, my head is just doing dun 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 Afro beats and, and, and I'm a piano right now. <laughs> Can I just say, I fully went to sleep with my strip eyelashes on, yeah, and woke up and both of them were flat to my face like this. Both of them flat, yeah, flat up. Ugh, oh my God, my life is a shambles. So anyway, guys, yesterday was my birthday. Um, I drove up here. Um, what did I do? I'd done a little bit of shopping. I went to go and see my friend. And then I came to my hotel. I used the sauna and... Um, not the sauna, that's a lie, because I didn't want to sweat out my hair. I used the jacuzzi and the swimming pool yesterday. Um, I didn't go in the sauna and the steam room because I didn't want my hair, my hair straight, and then I didn't want my hair to just frizz out. It done it anyway in the jacuzzi, so I had to straighten my hair again. And then last night, I went to um, the shopping centre around the corner to see if I could go to this Chinese restaurant that I've been to before. That's really nice. But it was actually closed. So I ended up ordering Chinese. Um which i've got yes yeah, so my chinese is over there like this is my room i've got my big massive bed here i've got another bed here which is actually what they did the last time i stayed at this hotel they gave me a whole double bed to myself and a single bed i don't know why but anyway this is me i was sprawled out in this bed last night boy i'm telling you my suitcase over there which i just ransacked yesterday trying to find stuff um that bed I've just used to literally throw stuff on. I'm not even gonna lie. I've just thrown stuff on that bed. Why I mean there's them look goody. Why watch out, yo? <laughs> you guys are back. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> guys, I'm not gonna lie. When I don't have my nails, I don't really feel like me. Do you get it? When the nails come back, I'm a new person. Cause I start talking like this. Do you get it? Do you understand? <laughs> 
So, the plans for today, guys, my eyes keep watering. The plan for today is for me to basically get up. It's 10 something, guys. This is a weekday, you know. I should have been awake at work doing school run bare things. I fell asleep with my phone on silent. I was so happy. When I woke up when I woke up and I saw 10 something, I was so happy. I thought this is why I came here for rest. Do you get it? Because even at home, yeah, I'll just be waking up all 7 30, 8 30. I'm just waking up for the sake of waking up. Do you understand? No man. Can't be doing that. Sometimes you have to have a little rest, you understand? So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys outside because yesterday was my birthday and it started snowing. I don't think it's ever snowed on my birthday in my life. It was snowing yesterday um so as i was driving up to the midlands like the snow was crazy there was bear alerts so i'm hoping i can get back when i'm ready to leave tomorrow because i got two nights in this hotel it proper started pouring down with snow while i was driving up here and i was thinking oh my god last night when i drove out to go and get the food oh my lord guys it was crazy i'm not even gonna lie i was driving at about two miles per hour because i'm not ready to crash my new car for nobody i'm not trying to do that i was outside driving at two miles per hour even five miles per hour on the on, on the dual carriageway you lot have lost it listen i got to one piece of roundabout and tried to press my brake and the brake wasn't pressing and i went literally i was my car stopped about 0 0.2 centimeters away from another car nurse no, Ain't got time for none of that. I was screaming, 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 and I'm slamming on the brake, and the brake ain't working. Who? I bought a new car for you to not work. No, I'm sorry. Not this weather. This weather is scary. So I'm going to show you what it looks like outside, guys. I'm suffering from dry lips right now because I've got this, um, because of the tablets that I'm taking. Remember, I had to tell you guys in the last video that I'm taking tablets for, um, skin acne. So, um,. Yeah, my lips them dry. God, no, nah, seriously, the dryness of the lips is a different. It's a different level. It's a different level, guys. It's like they're dry from the inside. My lips are so tight. I feel like I can't even move them. This is something I've been proper struggling with. It's a major symptom, of or or um symptom reaction whatever from these tablets is actually ridiculous. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna show you what outside my window looks like. It looks lovely. I did get some footage from last night when it was all dark and it looked amazing. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like now in the light. And from what I can see, it's been snowing all night and I'm depressed. <laughs> I'm trying to think about how I'm going to drive to Birmingham Centre today because I need to do some shopping. I need to try and find a birthday dress for Saturday when we go to the lab. Yesterday, I did some content and I was wearing this skirt. Here is outside. This is what outside my window is looking like. in March guys but they've got a lake and it was so pretty last night with all of the lights guys they've got a lake let's hope no one can see me from their windows because I'm standing here butt naked <laughs> butt naked trying to show your ass what it look like okay so let's pray that no one ain't filming me like I be filming them no guys seriously why is it snowing like this? The thickness. It's it's not no joke, you know. This is real snow, yo. <laughs> real snow. I don't know what I'm going to do. This was me last night doing my content. So for y'all who were like, who, were ta who was taking your pictures, though? <laughs> Here he is. It was him. All right, good morning. So I've sorted my life out. Oh my god, I'm scrubbing my face here yeah, because my face is peeling. Like, it's proper peeling here, around my mouth area, beside my nose, from these tablets. But anyway, guys, I'm going down to the spa. Um, Yeah, my face is hella fresh. <laughs> and I still look like I just woke up. My eyes feel like they're bloody swollen. This eye is getting normal again because it's been red for two days. I feel like I'm falling apart. It was my birthday. Everything was hurting. Too fake, eye ache, eye twitching, stress, bare things. So I woke up feeling like am I falling apart? It's my birthday. Am I falling apart? Is this old age? Do you get it? Anyway, my face is tight as hell. My lips are tight as hell. It feels like I can't even talk properly from these tablets that I'm taking. And that's the reason for the the thingy i'm going down to the spa so i haven't creamed my skin but yeah guys 
This is me in my bikini. It's a school day, so there's kids, the kids are at school, so there'll be no kids downstairs. Because I'm always worried about how I look in my bikini, because I think I look too... Uh, do you get it? The breast of my... Do, uh, do you understand? But yeah, anyways, so I'm going down to the spa. Follow me, I'll show you what it looks like down there. I've actually done a video in this hotel before. I don't know if you've seen it, because it wasn't up for too long, because I thought it was... It weren't all that. So yeah, um, I'll show you what downstairs looks like. So guys... I'm eating leftover Chinese for breakfast. Don't judge me. I was just tidying up the room a little bit. I need to make my bed. And yeah, I'm going to be out of here. I'm going to the spa. Guys, I love being by myself. I love being able to just decide when I'm doing what I'm doing. I love it. So I'm going to go down to the spa for, the spa for a couple hours. Then I'm going to decide what I'm going to do in terms of going up to Birmingham because it's about 30 minutes from here and I need to check out the roads. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to talk to some people in the spa because some people have a membership where they just come here. They don't actually stay in the, in the hotel. So I'm going to be like, hi, what's the roads like? Do you get it? So yeah, here's my food from last night, guys. Some prawn crackers. I bought some. I bought egg fried rice, I bought prawns on toast, I bought seaweed, but the seaweed was disgusting. I was so upset because that's what I actually really wanted. But yeah, guys, we moved. Anyway, downstairs to the spa. To the first floor. Thought I'd cover up to get to the spa. Leisure Club. So guys, I've come down to the um, swimming area. I'm literally inside of the jacuzzi. I'm actually so happy. It's so nice and warm. I'm gonna turn the bubbles on in a minute. But um, yeah, like you can actually see the snow outside. I can't believe it's been snowing in March. That like, I actually can't believe it. Guys, the bubbles are starting to come out. So, um, one of the guys in the pool just got out and helped me turn the bubbles on because the bubbles were off. I think it kind of takes a break. But yeah. Guys, I'm so happy. So basically, I'm going into the steam room. Um, just wanted to show you what it looks like. As you know, it's mad steamy in here. I've got the door open, so it's not helping, but my phone's probably gonna cloud up in a second. I just wanted to show you what it's like. Um, there's like two people in the jacuzzi, so I'm just chilling, like waiting to go in there because I don't really like getting in the jacuzzi when it's packed. Um, it smells like eucalyptus in here, which is great because I've had a little bit of a blocked nose. So hopefully that's going to help me. But I was literally in here for about 10 minutes before, before I started choking. And um, it's just so relaxing. Like, it's so relaxing. I think coming in here actually done it for me. Like, oh my God, yes, this is relaxation. The steam started to come out. You can hear it. And it's literally blowing at me. I think that's because I've got the door open. So anyway, let me go. I just wanted to show you. In fact, let me let this steam up and I'm going to show you the sauna. Here's the sauna, guys. It's boiling in here. But I don't often tend to use the sauna because I don't really like the fact that it's so dry. Like, hey, yo. All right, guys. So basically, I've come back to my room after being in the spa. I have done my hair, so I added a pony that I bought the other day, it's quite long, I'm loving it to be fair. Um, I've added a pony to my hair, done my edges, I've done my face, but I left my eyelash glue in the car. So yeah, I'm about to leave out, I'm going to Birmingham Ball Ring, because um, I just want to do a little bit of shopping, and I want to look for a dress for Saturday, because I'm going to a lounge for my birthday, this feels like it's coming off my head and it's hella annoying. Um...
But yeah, guys, so I've just been in the hotel room. I can't lie. I was meant to come in the hotel room and get ready straight away and leave, and I didn't. So I've done my face, and look at the top of my head. You can see the mark where I haven't done foundation, so I'm going to blend that in. <laughs> so guys, this is what my hair is looking like. This is it. My lips are literally so dry. They are hurting me. Actually ridiculous. But yeah, I'm loving my pony. I think it's cute. I bought it the other day. It's quite long. Um, I've just got on a regular little tracksuit-y thing today. Nothing special. Um, I'm just going to go up to the ball ring, see what I can find. I need a dress. I'm going to Cabana Lounge on Saturday. And yeah. I have an outfit, but I just want another outfit. Do you get it? So I have a backup outfit. So if I find a dress, then I'll probably be wearing that. Um, but yes, guys, I'm feeling my hair. I think it's cute. Very cute. And I'm out, guys. The snow is melting. Let me show you. The snow is actually melting, which I'm so happy about because yesterday China Drive was crazy. So the snow's actually melting outside. I think it's because it's been raining. So guys, yeah. Please pre my life. This is my life. I, can't, I still can't believe it snowed on my birthday. So I've just got in the car, guys. Um, I've just left the hotel about two hours late, but it's okay, because I'm here by myself, and this is the whole point, that I move when I want to move. I do what I want to do when I want to do it. Do you get it? I don't have no one like, oh, should we go here? Should we go there? No, I don't like that. I don't like this. I don't like that. Can we go here instead? No, I go where I want when I want. This is amazing. I'm loving it. So anyway... <laughs> I've just got in the car. I'm about to put Birmingham Bull Ring into my sat nav and hopefully it will get me there soon. I'm going to be driving at five miles per hour because I'm scared of the ice on the road. It has been raining, so I'm hoping that it's kind of like cleared most of the road. But yeah, guys, as I haven't been in my car since last night, this is what it was looking like or is looking like, should I say. So yeah, guys, I'll show you when I get to the Bull Ring. Hey guys, I am so bunged up, it's unbelievable. So basically, I've just got to the ball ring, I've just parked up. I'm about to go inside. I'm taking off this big coat because I'm going to try on some stuff and I get too hot and I don't want to be sweating in the people's changing room. So I'm going to leave my coat in the car. Um, I'll film when I get in there. Um, from what I remember the last time I came here, there was like a big massive shiny building. I didn't see that as I was approaching. So I was unable to catch that. I wanted to see the outside of the ball ring. But um, either way, I'm going to take you guys with me. I don't even have that much battery. I tried to charge my phone as I was on my way here. But yeah, we'll see what happens. But um, yeah, come with me. I have literally just got into the ball ring. Um, I'm about to try and find some shops that I want to go to. And yeah, I'll take you with me. I haven't seen a HMV in forever. <laughs> I need to go in here. Look at these Ugg boots. They're horrible. <laughs> Hey 
How cute is this? You can get cupcakes from the machine. Guys, it is raining out here, but I am not mad at it because I need the snow to melt. <laughs> okay, so I'm not mad at it at all. I've just come outside to like where the outside shops are. I am not dressed for this, I can't lie to you, but you know, I have an umbrella. As I said before, I didn't want to take my coat inside. Oh my God, the rain is going to take my umbrella. Guys, I found the Primark and um, some other shops and stuff are all out here. I heard that apparently Birmingham's Primark is like, what is this on me? I heard that Birmingham, oh look, I can hear the Quran. I can hear the Quran. Can you hear it? I'm gonna try and find it. Um, oh, it's there, free translation of the Quran. Don't lie, I'm gonna get it for my kids. Um, so basically, I found like the Primark and stuff. I heard that apparently the Primark in Birmingham is meant to be like the biggest one in, U in the UK or something like that. My glasses keep sliding down. I need to get them tightened. Guys, I am so cold. It's not even a joke. But as long as my hair is not wet, I'm not complaining. Salam alaikum, How are you? How are you? Inshallah. Got, no, 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 because I'm from London. It's going to be different, isn't it? Okay, do you want a Quran? Yeah, if I can have, I will have a Quran. I will. Thank you very much for my son. Inshallah. Guys, I'm walking through what looks like a jungle. <laughs> it's basically the um, golf place. I just thought I'd see if they've got food in here which they do but it's only like little pizzas and I'm starving that is not going to help my life right now but yeah guys I'm not going to lie I'm going to be so honest the ball ring has been rubbish um, I came here to see if I could find a dress and I can't oh my god <laughs> oh my gosh the sneezing yeah I can't find anything can't find any shoes can't find any trainers like I've literally been to all the different parts. I've looked around, I've looked around, I've been into h and I've been Zara, I've been to all the other shops, I've looked in Foot Locker, JD, etc. I can't find nothing. 
Thank God that beeping has stopped because it was driving me crazy. But yeah, I'm literally going back to the car now. Uh, my biggest fear was not being able to remember where I parked the car. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm out. I've just got back to my hotel. I went to the ball ring, as you know. As I said, I didn't find anything. Um, I ended up going to a an Asian restaurant. I was going to say Chinese. It wasn't Chinese. It was more Indian um, restaurant. It was like a buffet thing. So I ate food there, which was good. My belly is full. I've literally just pulled up back at my hotel. It was like a 30-minute drive back. Um... I'm so upset that the jacuzzi and everything is closed because it closes at 9. But yeah, the time is 10.31 and yeah, I'm about to go into my hotel and just chill out. Basically, I'm nothing. Oh my God, guys. I've woken up and it's only gone and snowed overnight, hasn't it? I've got to drive home in this. I'm literally about to go down to the jacuzzi, swim for the last couple of minutes and then go to bed like... I'm finished, I can't lie to you. Do you know what, I'm just confused. It's early morning, I'm going to go and get myself together and go down to the spa, I need a coffee. This is, this is, this is too much. Guys, I've had enough. I mean, my eye is swollen this morning. Like, I'm really falling apart. This birthday is not really birthday in. My lips, yeah, and around my mouth. Oh my God, guys, I've had problems. Literally. I'm in pain. I slept so peacefully last night, I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. Woke up early this morning. Yesterday I woke up about 10.30. Today I was up about 8 something. I'm going to go to the jacuzzi. Um, I'm going to go to the jacuzzi. I'm going to go in the pool and all that stuff. And I'm going to leave out about 11. Because i got to get back to uh, London for a dentist appointment at 4 this afternoon. And I ain't got no time. Especially now that I've seen it's been snowing. Yeah, I need to get out of here. So yeah, guys... It's goodbye. Guys. <laughs> no, wait, because this is actually terrible because you lot are not even helping me. Go on, then. <laughs> oh, my Lord. This is not a perfect place to be parking. Guys, we're here. We're at Cabana. It's my birthday. I can't walk in the hills. And, yeah. <laughs> Cabana, London. Ah. Okay, wow. The shoes, let's just keep the shoes, they're cute, but flipping on me.
Isn't it? Good thing your vocals don't look like that. Left, right, left, right.